We're here at the University of Birmingham's observatory, where on many nights, aspiring astronomers and astrophysicists will be looking out into the universe. Through a telescope like this one, we can observe many stars, planets, and even moons. In fact, on our very own moon, Apollo astronaut Neil Armstrong first performed a very interesting experiment. In one hand, he held a hammer, and the other, a feather. He dropped them both at the same time. Which do you think would hit the ground first? Here, the hammer hit the floor first. However, on the moon, both the hammer and the feather hit the floor at the same time. This is because of air resistance on Earth. To demonstrate this, we have to test it on objects of the same shape. Here, I have a light ping pong ball, and here, a heavy golf ball. Which one do you think will hit the ground first? So, despite the differences in weight, both balls hit the ground at the same time. However, the time it takes to hit the ground is a lot longer on the moon than it is on Earth, and that's due to a special number we call little g. It's a measure of acceleration. Let's see if we can measure little g in the lab. Here, I have two light gates set up to measure the time it takes for a mass like this to fall through. The first light gate measures the start time and the second light gate measures the end time. The distance between them is 0.35 meters. First, we need to set up the data logger. Then we can drop the mass through the light gate. The data logger tells me the time it took for the mass to fall from this light gate to this light gate. In this case, it took 0.252 seconds. Let's repeat this a few more times and take an average. We can repeat the experiment a few more times with various distances. Recall that distance is related to acceleration like this. Since g is an acceleration, we can replace a in the equation with g like this. This means that if we plot a graph of two times distance over time against time, then little g is simply the gradient. So we got pretty close to the true value of little g on Earth, 9.81 meters per second squared. But on the moon, little g is just 1.63 meters per second squared. And the feather and the hammer we saw earlier would have fallen a lot slower on the moon than they did here. Gravity is a big research interest here at Birmingham, with projects that include trying to determine Newton's universal gravitational constant, big G, to as high accuracy as possible, detection and theories of radiation due to gravity, also known as gravitational waves, and even the effects of gravity on light. Did you know that gravity can bend light? This distortion is known as gravitational lensing, and it's just one of the many ways we can map dark matter. <laughs>